Hey everyone and welcome back, I'm Mr. Stoltz. New week, new review, and today I'm taking a look at a model that's been out for quite some time now, but I was trying to figure out, okay, like a lot of people, you know, it's a new year, maybe you should get back in shape once again, and I needed a new pair of shoes, so that's the reason why I have this different kind of box right here. It is Adidas Athletics 24-7 um, TR Male. It, it has a little bit of a different box. Adidas at the at one side and this rubberized uh, surface on the other side in black and white. And so what I wanted is that I wanted a different pair of uh, training shoes. And I just tried it out a little bit. There are certain parts that I like about it. There is certain parts that I dislike about it. I'll leave the box here for now because there is something I want to talk about in this one. But this is what it looks like, the Adidas 24-7 Athletics. It's a different, it's a super lightweight shoe. Let me take out this as well on both of them. Uh, this one was already out. Uh, so yeah, so this is a workout shoe. It is supposed to be uh, working out, doing whatever you want to do. Go to the gym, uh, go grocery shopping, whatever you want to do. It's a lightweight shoe. It's just take it, put it on your feet and go type of shoe. So, uh, I'm gonna start talking about the shoe straight away. So, the tongue is this breathable, super flexible mesh material. And when I say breathable, I mean it is extremely breathable. If you're taking a look at this, like it is see-through. Like the whole thing is, there's like big, big holes. So when you're running or walking, you can feel the air going straight to your toes and your entire foot. So this is probably one of the most breathable sheath that I've ever had on my feet. The one thing is though that it's only here at the front, it's not at the sides or the back. But more or less it's gonna be, if you wanna have a little bit more ventilation, you kinda of want it to have it at the front, because you cool off at the front, and then it goes a little bit towards the back. I would wanna see it a little bit at the sides as well, but hey, you can't get everything. So breathable, flex uh, flexible mesh. Uh, going up we have this, uh, Everything is, is tilted at this shoe. So the first thing that we see is that the, first of all, uh, black flat laces, but then the laces are connected to this uh, Swiss cheese kind of uh, thingy at the, both of the sides. And it's, if, you, if you take a look straight away, like straight ahead, it is t it's not straight, it's like tilted to one side. So the laces are not centered at all. It is tilted to the sides and one thing that I noticed is that on the outer side of the shoe, the laces are threaded at the top of the big holes, but at, on this one, it is not threaded at the top. So, you, so it's been moving down one step. So you can go down all the way you want, depending on how tight you want it to be. Um, I'll get into that in a little bit. That's one of the things that I don't like, but I try to take it all the way at the top and it's, it's still, I'll get into that in a little bit. Give me a second. Okay, so the next thing is the tongue. And the tongue system is really weird on this shoe. It is one of the things that, so let's see, let me open it up and you can take a look a little bit better. You see, it's a split tongue technology. So it goes like this, like it looks really, really weird. Uh, yeah, so here you go. Here's my, my one concern. For me, if you have a higher foot, it's higher right here. You cannot, it will not look like this. Like if it's, if it's laced like this, it's gonna look good. But for me, since I have higher feet, it's gonna go up a little bit right here and it's gonna make it look like this. So when you're walking around, you have this big thing sticking up and I don't know why, and this back part with the seam is visible. I don't know why, this, is, this for me is not a good look. I try to like lace it up even more, but no, I can't because I have a higher foot. If you have a flat foot, it looks like this and it looks kind of good. But so that's one of, one of the concerns that I have with this shoe. It does not really look super, super good. Anyways, it still feels good on feet. Uh, but at the top right here, we have the Adidas logo. Um, sportiness looks really good, cool. Okay, let's move on. Oh, the end of the tips has this uh, blue, uh, uh, purplish color to it. 
And that was it. Looking at the side, like I mentioned, everything on the upper is a mesh shoe. So it's mesh all over the place. We have the same with the lace connecting system at both sides. It's a little bit bigger on the inner side compared to the outer side of the shoe. And at the back, we have the same support system like the Ultra Boost, Energy Boost and all of those to add a little bit more support at the back. Other than that, there's not a lot more to talk about right here. The midsole, EVA midsole, it, 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 it's, it's, you can't compare it to Ultra Boost, but this is at a different price point. So, but it actually feels really well and good on feet. It is lightweight, it is supportive, it has some sort of boostiness to it. Not as responsive as Boost, but still really, really good. And we have all of these, it looks kind of weird, but this one and the Prosphere, both of them, shoes now with Adidas, Prosphere and this one, has started to get all these uh, lizard-like uh, surfaces with these pointy dots and all of that that goes all the way around it. It is, this one doesn't uh, like scream out a lot, but it, it is a little bit more look at me. Boost is still more or less flat with a little bit of a surface, but this one, it stands out a little bit more. For me, I don't really care about it. Like, I think it looks good. Mm, yeah, so it's all white all the way around the shoe. Feels good on feet. And let's take a look on the inside. Here's one really inter interesting thing. So first of all, let me take it out. So we have the inner sock liner and the inner sock liner is an ortholite, very popular. Adidas, ortholite, it's black. Ortholite is always good. Keeps your foot fresh and nice and clean. So one cool thing about this shoe, let's say you're working out. You have this one on, you're working out, you're putting a sweat on, you're feeling great. You're going back home. Your toes are fresh. They're not really warm. You come home, you're like, okay, now I worked out, now I wanna go out. So this one is a little bit nasty, so what am I gonna do? Hey, let me take this one, put it to the side, and it's all fresh, and I'm gonna go like, now my feet is hurting a little bit because I've been working out a lot, the, the surface is all flat, and I'm feeling a little bit like, ah, I wanna get a massage going on with my feet. And this is the point where Adidas thought about it, and I, I like it. It, 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 it is really nice. Time for some recovery. So what they did is that they actually included an additional set of inner sock liners for that recovery face. So you know, so the funny thing, like I walked around with this one, it's like, oh, it um, feels good. Put this one on and it feels like this shoe is massaging your feet. It actually feels really good. It is a different thing. I've never gotten extra pair of inner sock liners. So this is actually made for recovery. So once you've done your workout or whatever, you take it out, you let it dry, you put this one in and you're gonna get, uh, so it's gonna look like this. And, and then you're gonna get a massage from all of these points. You can actually feel it when you're walking that it is massaging your feet. So it's, it's gonna, probably add more uh, blood assimilation, this uh, simulation, uh, blood circulation to your feet because you are massaging, massaging those parts. I really like it, it's a cool thing. Uh, and for the price point of this shoe, it's, it's really good, They're including this. This is one of the things that made me really, really curious about this shoe. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so at the back of the tongue, it says game day or any day. So that's the what they're saying is that wear it during game day, running, walking, whatever you want to do, or any type of day, you're just sitting at home, kicking, having a good time with your girlfriend or whatever. You're just kicking out the park, relaxing. That's what this shoe is all about. So at one part, game day or any day, at the other part, we have the information label. Um, not a lot of added support at the back, but still good enough. Nothing to complain about. And then taking a look on the outsole of this shoe, it's all white. Same type of, um, what do you want to call it? Um, this outsole traction pattern. So it's all the, th the same thing all over. 
The only thing is that it's divided into one, two, three, one, two, three different parts to, uh, you know, when you're running, so you have different parts that has a little bit different. Uh, so in the middle part, we have more of a rounded shape and the, on the edges, it's more of a, what you want, uh, like this kind of, uh, it's not round, it's, it's, uh, can't find the words anymore. But it's not the same shape, so it's gonna move in a different way. I'm not the engineer of this shoe, but that's the reason why I'm thinking they have made it a different shape. Because when you're running, maybe it grips in a different way, so that's the reason why they made that. It says Adidas at the top, pointy parts of the shoe. And then that's about it on this shoe. It says Adidas right here. Let's take a close up look what it looks like on feet. That is what it looks like on feet. What do you guys think about it? It is a kind of, it, it is a cool shoe. The one concern though is that if you have a high foot, it's, it will not look good on your feet in my opinion. Maybe you don't care about it, but with this split tongue technology, it makes it look a little bit weird because you have this additional layer of just thingies. If it was a regular tongue, it would probably look a lot better. But that's probably my one concern with this shoe. Other than that, I really like it. Breathable, flexible, lightweight, low cost, dual insoles, excellent, excellent shoe. So that was it. Thank you guys for watching today's review of the Adidas 24-7 Athletics. Is this something you were gonna cop or not? Leave a comment down below and let's discuss this shoe or any type of other running shoe or working out shoe that you guys like. Leave a comment down below, it's always fun to discuss it. If you're new to my channel, click right here to subscribe and do not forget to leave a big thumbs up. I truly enjoy it and click right here for more sneaker related videos. Have an awesome week and I'll see you very soon again. Take care, bye bye.